Hello everyone, today we're going to go over H1, Identify Changes in Gravitational Potential Energy. So uh, let's get started. Potential energy or gravitational potential energy is the amount of energy stored between two objects, that typically being Earth and the object. Um, this is dependent on two factors. Uh, the two factors are the object's mass and a distance between the object and the Earth, specifically the center of the Earth. So to make sure you got these ideas down, let's just do a couple quick things. So first of all, be aware that the more massive an object is, the more potential energy it has. Uh, secondly, the greater the distance between the center of the Earth and the object, the more potential energy it'll have as well. So just think of potential energy as like the energy like inside the object. It's like you have this potential and you just like want to release it to the world and everything like that. So just be aware once again that the potential energy is inside the object and it's also dependent on the distance between those two objects. So just to make sure we're clear um, between these two objects, which object has more potential energy? Um, obviously the object that is more massive will have more potential energy, so that award will go to the adults on the right hand side. Looking at these two pictures, which object has more potential energy? Let's assume that the balls have the same mass. So this one's on top of the water, and this one is under the water. Let's assume that it was inside the water. So uh, because this object is actually floating on top of the water, the distance between this object and the sunny earth would be greater than this one. So in this particular instance, this object will actually have greater potential energy. And last but not least, we have uh, two air balloons. Once again, assume the air balloons have the same mass. So in this example, this hot air balloon is in the air. This hot air balloon is obviously on the ground. So therefore, this hot air balloon would have more potential energy because it is higher above on the ground. Now with that out of the way, let's do some practice problems. So once again, remember mass and distance. The gravitational potential energy stored between the robin and earth blank as the robin flew to the tree branch. So it looks like the robin was standing on flat land below the tree and then it flew to a branch high in the tree, so the distance between it and the center Earth increased, so this would be increased. Next one, the gravitational potential energy stored between the hockey puck and Earth blank as the puck slid toward the goal. So if it's on a flat surface, that's what I would assume. So since it's on a level table, the potential energy stayed the same because the distance between it and the Earth is in staying constant. Next one, gravitational potential energy stored between the motorcycle and Earth blank as Hector rolled up the hill. So if it's going up the hill, the distance is increasing, so increasing energy. Alright, next one, gravitational potential energy stored between the water balloon and Earth blank as the water balloon fell. So if it's falling, that means it's going down, and if it's going down, the potential energy is decreasing because it's getting closer to the center of the Earth. And with that, I'm hoping you get the general idea of how stage one goes. Moving on to stage two. So this one uh, depends on the questions. You might be able to just answer just reading the answer choices. But if it's not specific enough, you will need to read the passage. So when was the most gravitational potential energy store between Aaron and Earth? So because it's the most gravitational potential energy, we have to see the example that gives the greatest distance between Aaron and Earth. So, let's see, Aaron and her friends took turns diving off a dock in a lake. When Aaron's turn came, she dove off the dock and plunged into the water. Once she caught her breath, Aaron swam across the flat surface of the lake toward the shore. So obviously, um, at this instance, she was probably at the highest spot because she's diving off the dock. So I would go with this one. Alright, this one is once again, most gravitational potential energy. 
So let's read the passage. Linda was playing with a rubber band. She stretched the rubber band between two of her fingers and aimed up at the ceiling. She let one end of the rubber band go and the other rubber band flew away from her hands. The rubber band touched the ceiling and fell back down. So the most potential energy when it's the greatest distance between that and sunny earth, so the highest spot. Uh, when the rubber band was stretched between Lisa's fingers, still on her finger, not that high. When the rubber band flew away, getting higher. When the rubber band touched the ceiling, that's the highest point. So I go with that. Okie dokie, next question. The least gravitational potential energy. So this is the time when it's at the lowest point on the ground, so the least distance between it and the center of the earth. So... Let's see, Omar stood in the center of the highest diving board at a public school. He stared at the water far below him and then decided he did not want to jump. So he climbed carefully down the ladder. He walked across the flat deck to the side of the pool. Then he sat down and f dipped his feet in the water. So this is probably when he was at the lowest point. When he was sitting on the side of the pool. Because that's when he's closest to the ground. Boink. Uh, we'll do one more. Uh, once again, this is the most gravitational potential energy, so this is when the object is at its highest height compared to the Earth. During a family picnic, Shelly ran across a flat field to the base of an ash tree. She reached up and pulled herself onto the lowest branch of the tree. Then she climbed to a higher branch and stopped to look around. From the branch, she could see her stepdad waving to her. So, it looks like she was climbing. So, that part is important. Alright, Shelly was running toward the tree. Nah, she's on the ground still. Reached up to grab a branch. Eh, she's getting up higher. When Shelly saw her stepdad. This is when she was on top of the tree. So, this is the highest height. So that'd be the greatest potential energy. Alright, so with those examples, hope you get the general idea of how to do these. And I wish you good luck on this section.